It's been a week since we started asking one simple question in Monticello. Who's leading the police department? But city officials still won't answer it. Good evening, I'm Chance Stickland. Jessica has the night off. Reliable sources tell us John Carter may no longer be the chief of police. WCI3 Scarlett O'Hara has been investigating this tip and joins us live in our newsroom. Scarlett, you have new information. After a week of unanswered calls and emails and a door shut in my face, I sent three Freedom of Information Act requests to the city. Two of them were denied, and the documents I did receive don't tell us much. So I reached out to city officials for clarity, but they're staying quiet. I didn't tell you this, but the police chief of Monticello has been asked to step down. No one knows why. Two sentences sparked a week of probing. Monticello taxpayers have questions, and their own public officials won't answer them. An anonymous tip came in Monday, October 24th, the same day a different officer gave the chief of police report at Monticello's city council meeting. Police chief's report. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mayor. I do have one something tonight. It's just one clue the city won't comment on. Two days later, I reached out to Mayor Larry Stoner and City Administrator Terry Summers. Summers emailed me twice saying the Chief of Police is still employed. And that was the last time I heard from him. And I'm still waiting for Stoner's response. And just because John Carter wasn't fired doesn't mean he's still coming to work. So I requested any documented communications between the Chief and City officials. The FOIA officer denied my request saying no records were located. But when she denied my next request, which asked for documents pertaining to Carter's termination, resignation, and or administrative leave, it wasn't because no records could be located. Instead, she gave three reasons why they can't be released. One exemption concerns preliminary drafts, notes, and recommendations. Another exemption claimed communications between a public body, like the city or Carter himself, and an attorney or auditor representing the public body can't be released. Lastly, the response noted closed city council meeting minutes are exempt, but we're not done digging. Today, I tried to contact Stoner and Summers again. Neither responded. The Monticello Police Facebook page is no longer available, but I will continue to, to be asking questions until I can bring you some answers. Reporting live in the newsroom, Scarlett O'Hara, WCIA 3, your local news leader.